Hi, I'm Jeremy from Salt Lake City, Utah, Airworks Heating and Air Conditioning, and I'm going to briefly go over um, a couple tips on being able to recharge an air conditioner. First and foremost, you have to be EPA certified to be able to work on an air conditioner, to be able to hook the gauges up and charge the air conditioner. So most homeowners would have to um, call a heating contractor to do so. If you are um, basically a good set of gauges that's going to read, you know, the correct amount of refrigeration versus the refrigerant that's supposed to be in the inside of the air conditioner. Uh, my biggest tip for you would be to um, go by the manufacturer's spec. Obviously there's going to be a few different temperatures that we have to take. We have to take an outdoor temperature, um, an ambient temperature on the outside of it, and an ambient um, versus the, the temperature that's on the inside of the house to be able to determine how much refrigeration goes in the inside of this, this unit. Um, you know, making sure that you're taking the correct temperatures down here on the refrigeration gauges is a very important thing and putting the right type of refrigerant in the inside of the unit is very imperative for charging an air conditioner. These are re basic refrigeration gauges. Um, these ones are set up to be able to read 410A refrigerant and R22 refrigerant. Um, this gauge right here in particular with this blue hose is going to be reading your vapor or your return temperature. Um, just oppositely, the red one is going to be reading your liquid temperature and your liquid pressure. Um, the center portion of it, one of them is a vacuum gauge and the other one is a refrigeration charging portion of that gauge. Down here on the bottom side of the air conditioner I've got a thermometer set up so that I can accurate read, accurately read temperatures um, on our refrigeration um, lines and with that our gauges are connected up as they should be on our refrigeration lines also so that way we can read temperatures versus pressures. And this is also the refrigeration. As you can see that my lines are connected up to my gauges and this is the proper way to be able to charge a, an air conditioner is by having your bottles, your temperature gauge, um, your hoses connected up and this is Jeremy from Airworks Heating and Air Conditioning out of Salt Lake with very basic refrigeration charging.